as they swing into the home straight. Two flights are left to jump. Duke of Rockingham with a sheepskin noseband. Tiger Orchid seemingly moving very well in second place. Now pulled towards the outside. So here they come towards the second last. Duke of Rockingham on the right. Tiger Orchid on the left. Didn't jump that too well, Tiger Orchid. So, and the whips are up on Duke of Rockingham. The whips are up on Tiger Orchid. Here comes Tiger Orchid to loom up along the stand side. Comes through to take it up. Tiger Orchid now goes on from Duke of Rockingham. One flight left to jump. And Tiger Orchid has gone three clear. And it's looking good for Tiger Orchid at the last safely over he's five lengths in front of duke of rockingham and tiger orchid is going to come through and win it for charlie hammond and dr richard newland and owner ian hannon in second place duke of rockingham well done, charlie. Oh, wow. well hello uh, it was obviously fairly straightforward in the end um it's a weird race we didn't get that quick early on and i was quite happy to let fergus just have a few lengths because if his did jump a bit slow i didn't want to be putting us off by getting up his hole and then Fergus is going like that and then us going, oh my god, what is going on? So, probably getting a bit too much right on, but I was just wanting to be safe and nice wing over first couple and once we jumped to a three, if anything, he's jumping almost went back a little bit. He was a bit more shitty at a few others then, once I jumped the first one, he, you see the second, the first one down the back, he was like, whoa, and the next one he was the same, but as soon as we quickened it up a little bit, he was a bit better again. <coughs> and then we turned into the straight the last time and Fergus just pricked his ears and just pulled himself up and I was like, I really don't want to be in front of two out. Me and Richard have both said that, um, we want to be in front of the last and I've jumped two out and it's been really messy but to be honest it's just, I just got upsized at that point because Fergus had stopped so I ended up getting there when I didn't really want to be there and then I've given him a flick from the back of two out and well you can see on the video he's taken off like he's picked up great and to be honest going down to last I mean I could have been brave I would have been stupid to be honest when you're that far clear and I could have yucked him but there was no point he's, he's so sensible if you sit still it sounds stupid he's only ever going to be very cold on you he's only ever going to go and put a short one anyway so I just sat still and let him pop it because we didn't need any heroics at that point in the race. Um, he'll learn a lot more by popping home like that than he will being yucked and like nearly falling almost, almost like hunting on the last day, actually the last almost. You know, we had to be long that day and he, he pecked on the land on a bit. It wasn't because it was too long, it's just because he's so green still. So um yeah, very happy anyway. Good performance. Yeah, well